in continuation of the classification of account we have done uh, what are the classifications and then uh, we have seen the traditional classification of account then next we have seen the modern classification of account then we have learned what are the meanings of those accounts and which account will be recorded under which type of account we have done it for traditional classification of account we have done it for modern classification of account so now we know which type of account uh, uh, which account will come under which type of account so we know that land and machinery will come under asset account and in traditional they will be coming under real account same way purchase account in modern it will come under expense account and in traditional classification it will come under nominal account so after we have done this which one will come under which type of account now we have to know the rules of the debit credit of each classification now for the traditional classification of account the rules of debit credit is also known as the golden rules so the golden rules of debit credit are one of the most important part of accountancy you have to remember this golden rules this will be applied in every part in every step of your accountancy sums so now what are the rules traditional classification is also known as the english approach so the rule in case of personal account the rule is debit the receiver of benefit credit the giver of the benefit in case of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out in case of nominal account debit expenses and losses credit incomes and gains so these are the rules of debit and credit under traditional or english approach which is also known as the golden rules of debit and credit now the modern rules of debit and credit first asset account if there is an increase in asset this increase is debited in that asset account if there is a decrease in an asset this decrease in asset is credited in that asset account in short increase in asset is debit decrease in asset is credit next expenses and losses when expenses or losses is incurred it is debited and when expenses or losses is decreased it is credited in short increase in expense and losses is debit decrease in expense or losses is credit next is drawings account if there is a increase in drawings this increase is debited in that drawings account if there is a decrease in the drawings then it is credited in the drawings account in short increase in drawings is debit decrease in drawings is credit next liabilities when a liability is increased it is credited and when a liability is decreased it is debit in short increase in liability is credited decrease in liability is debit next is capital when capital is increased it is credited and when capital is reduced it is debit in short increase in capital credit decrease in capital is debit next income and gain when income or profit is increased it is credited and when income or profit is decreased it is debited in short increase in income is credit decrease in income is debit so the rule for asset expense and drawing is same and the rule for liabilities capital and incomes and gain is 
Sim.